Welcome to the Weatherlink console. In this video, we will walk through the relatively easy process of configuring your Weatherlink console. First, let's see what's included. In the box, you will find the Weatherlink console, wall mount bracket, tabletop kickstand, power adapter and cable, and the hardware kit. The power adapter is not included with the USB model. Here are a few things you should do before configuring your console. 1. Set up your weather station sensor suite. If you have purchased your Weatherlink console along with a new Vantage Pro 2 or Vantage View sensor suite, you should set up your sensor suite first and have it up and running. Do this by following the instructions included with your sensor suite, but it might be easier if you wait to mount the sensor suite outside. If you already have a Vantage Pro 2 or Vantage View sensor suite up and running, you don't need to unmount it. 2. Gather the station IDs. You will need to know what ID number your sensor suite is transmitting on. 3. Sign up for weatherlink.com. A Weatherlink account is not required for this console. It is a fully functional and powerful data display, storage, and analysis tool on its own. However, using it with a Weatherlink account will add considerable benefits, including access to your data on your phone or computer, the option to store and access your archive data in Safe Cloud Data Archive, and the ability to share your data with others. You can also join the Weatherlink global community of Davis Weather Stations. A basic account is free, but you can upgrade to Pro or Pro Plus to enjoy added features. Let's configure your Weatherlink console. Plug the USB connector into the power adapter and into the port on the back of the console. Then plug in the power adapter. Tuck the cable into the channel below the USB jack. Your console will automatically power up. 2. The console installation screen will appear. Make sure you have a list of the transmitter IDs for your sensor suite and any other transmitting stations ready. Tap Begin Setup. 3. Follow the prompts to connect to your Wi-Fi. Note, the console uses Wi-Fi to update the firmware upon first use, as well as to maintain very accurate time. You should connect to Wi-Fi even if you do not intend to upload your data to weatherlink.com after setup. The console will not need to be connected to Wi-Fi, except to get automatic firmware updates, which occur automatically at 3 a.m. local time when they're available. However, you can set it up without Wi-Fi. Choose Use Offline Mode and skip to step 6. 4. This may take as long as 30 minutes. 5. The next screen will allow you to create or log into your Weatherlink account. Either create your account, log in to an existing account, or skip this section. 6. Set your station's latitude and longitude. You can use the map to find your location if your console is connected to Wi-Fi, and the latitude and longitude will be set automatically. 7. Select country, time zone, time, and date. Time should be automatically set if using in online mode, and choose to see time in either 24 or 12 hour format. Tap next. Eight, name your console. Give your console a short name, such as Bob's Home or Aspen Cottage Weather. Tap next. Configure devices. The next screens will let you set up the console to listen to your transmitters. One, click on the ID to which your sensor suite is set. Two, in the next screen, choose station type such as Vantage View or Vantage Pro 2. 3. Enter a name for this station such as My Vantage View or Seller Humidity Sensor. 4. Make sure the rain collector setting matches your station's rain collector type, 0.1 inches or 0.2 millimeters. Select any additional sensors you may have on your sensor suite or transmitter. For example, if you have a Vantage Pro 2 Plus, choose Solarad NUV. 5. Advanced Settings. This screen allows you to add a yearly rain value to date. For example, if you are setting this device up in March, you can insert the rain data you may already have for January and February. If you have added a repeater or a second wind station, configure those on this screen. You can also calibrate temperature, humidity, or wind using this screen. Please be aware that Davis sensors are quite accurate and calibration is normally not needed. Tap Save, then Save again to return to the Configure Devices screen. Continue adding any transmitting stations you have in your system. Your console can listen to up to eight different transmitters. 6. When you are finished, tap Next. Display Format Settings. 
make sure the display formats are as you want them to be. Tap Next. Unit of Measurement Settings. Make sure the unit measurements are as you want them to be. Tap Next. General Console Settings. 1. You can change the online archive rate in this screen as well. Tip. For online archive rates more frequent than 15 minutes, you must be a Pro or Pro Plus subscriber. You can upgrade to Pro or Pro Plus on weatherlink.com. 2. You can also set when you want your yearly rain season to start. For example, if your rainy season starts in April, you might want to start yearly accumulations on April 1 rather than January 1. 3. Here, you can enable sleep mode or do not disturb track ambient lighting, and automatically change the brightness depending on the light levels in the room. You can choose the brightness level yourself using the brightness slider. 4. Tap Next. On the next screens, select the primary use for your console. Choose Home or Business. This information helps us design better hardware, software, and services. Tap Next. Your installation is now complete and you should see data on your display within 2-5 to five minutes.